guys and welcome back to my video. Um, I just wanted to do this little intro because I forgot to say a few things before we get on to the actual video. Um, I, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much to all of the people who have been watching this from the beginning, all of my new subscribers, all of my older subscribers. I just want to thank you so much for supporting me and for continuing to watch my uh my videos and um also i know that i forgot in the video because i already filmed it um i forgot to answer a few questions so if i remember them i will answer them in later videos um i will continue to answer them um because you know i guess they slip through the cracks somehow and um what else i know i'm super inconsistent so I'm sorry this video is so late, and let's get on to the video. Hi guys, welcome back um, to another flip through. I'm sorry that the lighting over here is just like sucky. Um, I don't know how to fix it, <laughs> but it is what it is. Hopefully you can see. I'm doing the final flip through of this journal. I can't believe it. I'm going to do the final pages. Um, and then I'm, I have questions that I'm going to be answering and I'll show you some of the highlights from my pe previous, uh, like my favorite, some of my favorite pages from early on in the journal. So let's get started. I guess I'll, I'll like flip through while I answer the, the questions. Okay, so first question is how often do you go back and look through slash read your journals when you're finished when you finish an entire one um actually I don't finish I don't really go back that often um which is I prefer that because then when I do eventually go back like years and years later to um look at look at them it's like a surprise to me because I forget what's in them and it's fun um, I like this page because of like how I did the, this is like fountain pen ink, just like some pelican and then I took like a, like a napkin, like a paper napkin and I like just swiped it and it's really cute. So yeah, I don't go back very often. I do associate some of my journals with certain periods or time in my life. It's kind of like a way that my memory works is like oh I remember this happened in that journal and that happened in this journal but I also forget what happens in the journals so when I go I do go back and I'm like oh look at that like look at this thing I drew it's mostly like that or like I don't really actually read them very often um because it's like I don't know uh I don't really feel the need I I struggle a lot with my past um honestly um so going back and physically reading them could uh bring up some bad memories uh this was my mom's birthday um she would have been i think in her 60s i can't remember i did the math and then i forgot um, but she would have been in her 60s and I decided to do some drawings. I was going to like color in the drawings that I did, but, um, I just ended up not doing that. But I did drawings like based off things that like reminded me of her or like that she really liked. Like she really liked candles a lot. And so like she, she was kind of a pyromaniac. She not like in the sense that she wanted to burn everything down, but she really liked fire for some reason. Um, and so we would always have candles going, and she did this weird thing. Well, I guess it's not super weird. But, like, she would dip her fingers in the hot wax and then, like, just for fun. And then I did that, and then, like, recently, I, the last, the, yeah, when I got my nails done, like, last year, they did, like... The, they did my whole hand in wax, and I'm like, yes, this is amazing. <laughs> it, so it brought me back to my childhood and doing that. And she also, she grew up in Florida, so she loves the sun. So I drew a sun and some clouds, because I like clouds. Clouds are fun. And then, like, this summer, 
like I like that there was like this summer theme on this page like with the stickers and the washi tape but her favorite animal uh, was an alligator um, so I have I drew an alligator well I didn't draw it but I um, I actually I traced it off of off of Google and then I want to show you this thing that I have it's in my room it's completely out of place but I keep it because my mom this was my mom's and it <laughs> um she bought this just like road sign that says dead end and it has an alligator on it so I, I have it hanging on my uh my closet door <laughs> my mom was so weird but you know she also liked palm trees and they I did a fire. We always had a, we have a fire pit in our yard and she, like, twice a week, I feel like, if not, like, like, during the summers, it was, like, all the time, but, like, um, <clears throat> at least, like, on the weekends, we would always have a fire going and we'd always be hanging out by the fire pit and she'd just be burning things, so. There's that. Okay, second question would you ever do a challenge like this again? I wouldn't... I wouldn't write in a journal this massive again. But I would do a similar journal. Like, I posted on... I can't remember. It was, like... I think it was my Instagram story of this, like... It kind of looked like a Bible. And it was, like, really thick. But it was, like, not, like, physically this big. But it was, like, really thick. And I was like, should this be my next journal or something like that? And um, so I would maybe consider doing that, but like not for like two years. I want to like chill in my little journals now. But like the hardest thing about this journal was like how far I had to reach. Like you see, this is like my forearm and I had to like, it's the size of my forearm. And so, like, in order to write at the top of the page, I really had to, like, lean and, like, stretch. And I didn't like that because it didn't feel very intimate. Because what I like about smaller journals is, like, I can, like, have them right here in front of me. So, I don't know. It just... Yes. So, I would consider doing a challenge like this again, but not this physical size. Um... Does writing your life help with your mental health? Um, yes, very much so. Um, I do like journaling mainly for that reason. Um, I went and saw, this was the last day of the journal, I went and saw uh, Top Gun Maverick with my dad. He, he decided he wanted to see it. So I <laughs> just wanted to point that out. I do struggle with my mental health. I do, I have depression and I struggle a lot with, I'm also autistic, and so I get overstimulated very easily if I'm, like, constantly working like I was this past week. Like, I ended up, I was scheduled to work one double and then work all the mornings after that. But then I ended up working two doubles, and then the next day when I wasn't working a double, I ended up hanging out with my friend. And then the next day when I... I worked the morning and then my other friend came in and so like I literally like didn't have any free time and I love my friends but like it was very <laughs> stressful and I needed time alone and I'm glad I had yesterday off um so but like I can tell that when it, I'm not feeling good and mentally or emotionally um that writing in my journal does actually help and, um, I, I know that sometimes I don't, when I don't feel good, I don't, um, write as often, which is not good. So I know that when I'm not feeling good, I need to journal, especially if there's something really heavily weighing on my mind. If, like, I'm, uh, having struggles with, like, a friendship or things at work, and, like, it's just going around and around in my head. I just need to write it out, vent it out, even if it's, like, I'm, even if I end up saying something really mean, I'd rather say that on a page in a journal that, uh, that will probably never get seen than say it to someone's face and, like, really end up hurting someone's feelings, you know? 
Last page of the journal. Okay, um, I did these journal stats. Um, I did the days that I wrote, like the number of days that, in the month that I actually wrote, and then the pages that were used up in that month, and then average pages that were used, like per day. And I think, I can't remember, somewhere in here is like one, one of these few is like the ones that, the or the month that I wrote the least, and I can't read it upside down. <laughs> so feel free to go through it. I skipped 108 days, which is a lot. I wish it wasn't so many, but like I, I understand. <laughs> why it was so many and then I wrote exactly one year like um, by the time I got to August I'm like F it I'm going to freaking finish this journal ex in exactly one year because before I was like oh maybe it'll be a little over a year maybe it'll be a little less and I'm like no I'm finishing it in exactly one year so I did exactly like uh, August 7th to August 7th is when I wrote in this journal, and I'm really proud of that, but yeah, um, I keep switching topics, and I'm sorry about that, oh, this is my cat midnight, and she likes to lay on my journal, <laughs> or, and be on my desk, so you might see him, her, you might see her a few more times, because she will probably do that again, um, what was I gonna say, okay, I would, recommend journaling to literally anyone for the fact that it is beneficial for your mental health. So if you are struggling with your mental health right now, I would suggest go sit down and journal about it. I know that it can be difficult because some people have issues with privacy. Um, and like some people have like um, dyslexia and that can be a struggle for them and to motivate them to write <clears throat> but like find a way to like journal it doesn't have to be like uh it doesn't have to be uh physically writing like this it can be on your phone or it can be like you can do like little uh daily vlogs or stuff like that um, like on your phone, although I feel like that would take a lot of space up on your phone. <laughs> so, but like, there are other ways of journaling and letting out your emotions. It could be through art journaling, it could be through, um, like lots of different things you could paint. And, um, just like I would suggest journaling and that it helps with mental health and it also helps with self-reflection. Um, just like a way to let out your emotions. So that's the answer to that question. Um, this next question, uh, what page has been your favorite in this journal? So I'm going to go through, I don't have any specific pages in this, like one specific page where I'm like, this is my absolute favorite. Um, so I'm sorry, I keep I know it's not in frame, but I also want you to be able to see it because of the lighting. So I'm going to go flip through some of the pages that I are some of my favorite. None of them are my absolute favorite. Uh, so that's the answer to this question. Um, how do you feel? How do you feel if you think of all the journals you already finished? Um, so... I feel really accomplished. Uh, I, I do, like, uh, journaling has been one of the things that when I first started journaling and I actually completed a full journal, it was, like, this moment of, like, just, like, I can't believe that I finally was able to accomplish something because at that point in my life, I had struggled with actually... Um, being able to feel like I had done anything that was uh, worthy of admiration or praise or like being proud of myself really 
And so when I finally finished my first journal, that really catapulted me into continuing. And I was just so excited to get to the next one and then write every single day and write and, um, and finish that one. And then like the way that it happened for me was that I had two journals. I had one big, like it was, uh, what was it? It was, sorry for the sniffling again. It was a composition notebooks. And so I had wrote some of that and then I had this little notebook that my sister got me from Harry Potter World and, and Florida. And I was also writing in that. And so, like, I was going back and forth between the two. I had finished them partially. And so what happened was I finished the composition notebook. And I felt so accomplished having written in or used up every single page that I went to my other notebook and like I finished that really quickly and then I was like oh I've had this notebook for a while and then I just started writing in that and then I finished that and like it just kept going and obviously I finished this one and this is a massive accomplishment in my opinion. I like this page because of this drawing. I think it's really it's a, it's a drawing and then I painted it for Halloween. Most of these pages that I are my favorite hap happen during October because October is my favorite month and fall is my favorite type of year and so yeah. <laughs> this one uh this is a drawing that I started to fill up this page because there are a few pages in this journal. Actually, I should probably show you. Uh, that I was going to do these big drawings in and then I ended up not doing them because like I didn't go back and do that and I filled some of them where I, I just taped some stuff on there and but this is the only one that I was drawing and it's like a coffee cup it says drink deep of life and like I did like a little mandala thing and then I was gonna stipple like the steam coming off of it and I got this far and I don't know that I'll go back because after this I'm probably going to stick this journal in my closet and be happy to have my massive desk to myself and be able to have my little journal. I think I skipped a question. This right. So yeah, this is one of my favorite pages even though I haven't finished it yet. Um, Sure, I didn't, did I not write it down? I guess I didn't, but there was a question asking what my, my next journal would be, and it's this one. Um, I, this is my current journal, and, uh, it's a Harry, Harry Potter, it's a Naruto journal, it's, I think I showed this in the video, um, but, like, I've already started it, and I write a lot like I found that I've written a lot of like I'll write five pages a day and I'm like why am I writing so much and I think it's because I'm so used to writing massive pages and that it's just like just so massive pages at like two to three pages a day for a whole year um, and so when I come to this tiny journal that is actually a normal journal I'm just, it's just like so effortless to write so many pages, but yeah, this is my next journal, um, and I'm only using Naruto sticker, anime stickers in it, so that's that question. Uh, do you, re the next question is, do you regret some pages where you rushed them? Um, no, I, I, I don't regret any pages in this journal in particular, um, because I just think that for me it wasn't very easy to rush a page because it would always take a lot of effort to finish a page in this journal. Um, I like this drawing and oh, I'm out of frame again. Jeez. This journal is so hard to film, guys. <laughs> 
I like this drawing. Anyway, so no, I don't regret any of the pages in this journal that I rushed. There are pages in other journals that I rushed that uh, I would say that I could have done a lot better on. Um, I like this page as well. And this page is good. This is, these were decorated according to Paper Halloween. So. I like this. I like this with like this sticker. So there's that. Um, that was that question. What inspires you to write three pages? I'm assuming three pages a day. Um, well, like I, I just, it was the motivation to get the journal done. Honestly, like it, like get it done. I just wanted to be finished with it. Um. I wanted to have that achievement checked off of my list, be like, I am done with this journal. I like this page for the obvious reason of this amazing drawing. I like the blood splatter. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but I did like just some red paint and I just splattered it all over the place. Um, even like up here a little bit, but mostly down here. And I just, I love it. <laughs> I did in um, the last month, uh, on, when I started August in this in this uh, journal, I wrote five pages a day, and that was a lot. <laughs> that that was a lot. Um, what kind of paper does this journal have? Um, so this person wanted to know because they wanted to write in it, and um, it's not. It's smoother than like a, a real sketchbook like here let me grab my sketchbook where is it i don't know where it's at i should have grabbed it uh but like anyways my actual sketchbook has like more fibrous paper than this so this is a lot smoother but it's not quite as thick as like craft paper it's I don't know let's find a good there's a lot of stuff stuck on so I'm trying to like if it's just like regular I don't know how to describe it it's like with this journal it's very smooth whereas this is a slightly more textured but it's not textured to the point where like I'm writing and then it like messes up my writing this is very smooth this is thinner i i i don't think that i'm being very helpful but like maybe i am like again and like this is like normal paper like school paper and this is very smooth this is slightly less smooth this is thin very thin and this is this is slightly more thicker and textured than normal paper but it's not so textured that it's noticeable and it's not like like I, can't, I don't know it's not bumpy in any way I, I don't know if I, I was, that was helpful in any way um, so I'm sorry if it was not helpful um, I like this page because I was able to just like fill it up with like that's like another thing I really liked about this journal was that I could just stick an entire magazine page right on the page and still have room to write. Um, like, like it was just a lot, like just very easy to fill as like, okay. Very easy to just stick things on and not have to trim things down. But one of my least favorite things is, like, if I were to use a sticker, like, this one, this little pumpkin is, like, so cute. And if I were to put that on, like, a page like this, like, right here, it would have a lot more impact on this paper than it has, like, on this paper. And by paper, I mean size of journal. Um, it just, like, it's very minuscule, and so, like, if you really wanted to decorate it, 
and like have it look good and like it just had to be a bit bigger which is why I like to layer stuff like you'll see it I do a lot of layering with like washi tapes and other things where you gotta there's midnight again hi midnight bye midnight <laughs> this is like some grid paper I colored in and then like like a picture from a magazine and that has a lot more impact on the page it looks very more visually interesting and it draws your eye more than this tiny little pumpkin over here or like this sticker up here and so it's like it's like the benefits you don't have to you don't have to choose how much of the page that you want to chop off because you don't have enough room to have the whole page but at the same time if you want to use smaller decorations, you have to use a lot more or do a lot more with it. Like, uh, with my, I'm trying not to show pictures of, like, my family. Like, with the, sorry, <laughs> just rearranging things. With, like, the little stickers that I've been using for summer, like, the seashells and stuff, like, I just, like, do them, like, it's like a washi tape roll, because then it'll have more impact visually on the page, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I like this page in particular, um, because, like, I like this, but, like, also this was the first time that I was doing personal reading sprints for myself because I enjoy reading a lot and I have way too many books on my TBR and so I like did this little sticky note where I like wrote down what I was reading and how many pages and how long and then I stuck it in here and I was like that looks really cute and so I did that more and then this page is the halfway mark and like I drew um fireworks to be like celebrating like yay it's halfway through the journal woohoo <laughs> and then oh I wrote another like again on the side um what I was reading mm, I like this page because I was reading a book I read what was it Minecraft the end and it was really good so I drew that based off of that all hail the great chaos and if you like reading middle grade books, um, I would suggest that you read some of the Minecraft books. The only one I didn't like uh, really is Minecraft The Crash because it was very depressing. But like, if you're going through a period of grief, um, it is very relatable. So if you're like going through grief and you're struggling with that, reading that book could potentially help you feel less alone and help you process more because that's kind of like what the book is about and so it, it was good in that sense it minecraft the crash um but at the same time if you're not in the mood for something that's depressing then i would suggest you steer clear from that but all of the other minecraft books that i've read so far i haven't read i've read like four of them um they're really good um and I would suggest them. Uh, I was this was when I was drawing and I was getting back more my creativity and physically drawing and stuff and I was watching the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial and so I drew this Amica cream because why the, why the F not <laughs> right um, and then I drew this weird thing which um, yeah and this massive butterfly I got these, like, massive die cuts of butter, like, okay, they're not all massive, but die cuts of butterflies, so you see them a lot in this journal, um, and another, like, I could just stick it on the page, and it was fine, um, I, it just, like, how, how else am I gonna use a massive, uh, butterfly die cut like that like that's not gonna fit in my next journal um 
So yeah, this is this is one of my favorite pages for sure because I put a lot of effort into this and like I like how I painted it. Um, I do still find flaws with it, but like you know, as time goes by, like the flaws become less noticeable because I'm not it's not fresh in my mind. Uh, so I really like it. I like the sun a lot, and then the star is nice. Um, I just, I just really like, and then I like how they are laid out onto the page, um, to make it look pretty. And then this one's more recent. I like this page. Again, this is watercolor paint and, uh, colored pencils and a little bit of gel pen for the, that shiny silver, uh, knife. And, yeah. So I really like this page. This was the 100 pages left page, so that's why it looks weird with this border, because I wanted to, like, outline it and be like, hey, like, there's 100 pages left. Woohoo! And then I think this was the last one. Uh, I just like how, like, you know, sometimes it's just, like, this, the smallest things. You can take, like, some craft paper, rip it up put it on the page and it looks amazing you know it doesn't it doesn't really have to be all that much effort you to decorate pages you you just lay down like just lay down some washi just put on some stickers just like use some craft tape you know it does or craft craft paper not craft tape um it doesn't have to be all that much effort like with full-on painting painting a page like a Where'd it go? Play. Like this, or the, like the other one. Oh. There's 600 pages. I'm not going to find it. <laughs> so that's the end of this journal. Not the end of my questions. I have two more questions. Where can I find this journal? I am going to leave a link to the Amazon link where I purchased this journal so that you can buy it if you want to. You can look at the stats and see if it's a option for you. So that is where you can find this journal. And then least favorite and favorite things about this journal, I think I already covered that. I am very glad that I don't have to deal with how cumbersome it is anymore. I don't have to like physically throw toss it on onto my bed anymore if I want to sit here at my desk and like use my laptop or like do something else like paint or something like that so I don't have to deal with how massive it is it is massive and that was the challenge and I completed it and I'm really happy about that my favorite thing about this journal is I don't know I like how much I was able to do, and I like that it contains so much, um, and it doesn't, like, I feel like, maybe I'm wrong about this, but I feel like it takes up less space than, like, usually I use, like, four regular size journals in a year, and so I feel like width-wise, it's less than four of these. I don't know. Mm, I'm trying to think of more positive things to say about it. <laughs> is that is that bad? It's just it's not that I have a lot of negativity towards it. It's just that it's just kind of meh. That's really bad. That's really bad. I I feel accomplished as I do with every journal. I'm just. I think that towards the end, it just, like, became so cumbersome and so annoying, and I've had it for so long that I was just over it. Like, the longest journal that I, the, the journal I used for the longest before this was, like, five months, and, like, I think I hated that journal more towards the end than I hated this one because it was more about the long game for this one. Like, I knew it was going to take me forever. I knew it was going to take me forever in the other one because it's just as, I think it had just as many pages, but it was smaller, um, physically, but, like, I don't know, like, I think I've gained a lot more patience since I used that journal, so, yeah, that was, that was my,
journaling experience. I think I... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I can't... I thought I could remember another question that I forgot to write down. But, uh... I can't remember it. There's the, the journal. It's hard to film it. That's the bottom. There's the top. And I probably should have weighed it, but I didn't. So that, that's that, and I hope you enjoyed my ramblings, and I will see you, I guess I will see you guys at the end of the month, if I'm going to continue, I mean, I'm going to continue journaling, but if I'm going to continue filming, I guess I'll see you guys at the, probably in the middle of next month, let's be real. I'll see you guys next time, bye-bye.